everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a really fun project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this gorgeous? It's got a really cool look to it, but it's really easy to do, and let me show you how to make this. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one roll of two and a half inch strips, and we have used Pin Drop by Christopher Thompson, who, by the way, is an amazing person. And of course it has pins on it, so we love fabric that has sewing things on it. Love, love, love this line. It's bright and happy and gorgeous. You're gonna need some background fabric, about two and a half uh, yards, or two and a quarter yards, actually, of white. And this is all these pieces in here. You're gonna need the rhombus tool. Uh, this is what we used to make that. And I know, you know, when you look at it, you don't actually see that, but this is, I love learning new techniques and showing you guys how to do new techniques. And this is one where we use the rhombus. For your border, you're gonna need one and a quarter yards out here. It's a nice big six inch border. And for your backing, we've used the blue. And look at all those pins. Isn't that the cutest thing? I love sewing stuff on fabric. You're gonna need four and three quarter yards for your background fabric. So let me show you how to do this because it's just so much easier than you think. So first of all, you're gonna take some of your backing and we used white and we're gonna cut it into five inch strips. So we have a couple of strips here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of leave this folded up and I'm gonna cut a rhombus out of it. And I'm just gonna lay my rhombus on here like this. And look how slick that is. Because it's five inches, let me move this for you. Because it's five inches, basically you're, cut, you're cutting two seams right here. Just two seams and that's all you need. And I have some cut right here. Here's my rhombuses. Then you're gonna take your strips, which are here and we are going to border just one side. And so to do that, what I've got here is I've got these strips and I'm gonna put my first strip on the bottom, what I call this bottom, and you, put, you have to always put them on the same side, so always on this right side, and it would work if you did the left too, but I did it all on the right, and we're gonna sew. Now you wanna make sure when you put these on, we're gonna fold this back because this is gonna be cut to match the shape of the rhombus. So, you know, you're gonna have to cut down here like this and we're gonna cut down here like this. So let's go ahead and sew this one on the bottom right here. And if you, if you do the top first, it'll work. It just uh, is a different angle. So I think this uses a little less fabric. All right, so I'm gonna anchor this and I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch. Make sure my edge is lined up right there. All right, so once we have that piece all sewn on, we're gonna press it open. So I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna just roll this back. And then what we wanna do is we wanna grab our, uh, our little ruler and we're gonna follow the shape of the rhombus. So we're gonna come along this side like here and line up your ruler along the shape of your rhombus and we're gonna make this cut right here. And then we're gonna come over here and make this cut right here. And I'm gonna turn this around so I can do it easier. So like this. So my ruler lines up along the edge, that's my line. And then I'm gonna cut this right here. All right, so now we get to put the strip on the top part right here. And what you have to remember is you're gonna be cutting this up like this. So you have to make sure that you have enough room right here to go up. So we're just gonna go and put this on like this and sew down. And I think I'm gonna leave just a little bit more room. It looks a little short to me. So let me lay that up here like this. And then I'm just gonna come and anchor it, then line up my strip, and sew a quarter of an inch. All righty, let's press this one back. And now we're gonna trim this one off. So we're gonna take our ruler and line it up on the edge, like this, and just trim it. And then we're gonna line this up on the edge of this one and trim it. All right, now that is your whole block. How fast was that? So now you need one more block and it's of the little triangles right here, like this. And this is your, on your top row and your bottom row. And let me turn this so you can see how that looks. So these are what's gonna finish off your rows and make them straight. Otherwise with the rhombus, you're gonna have, you know, it's gonna come in like that. So this secondary block is also made with the rhombus. And again, you're gonna take a long strip 
and we're just gonna take our rhombus. Now on the rhombus, it has a line. This is the line, it says, line up to this edge for cut triangles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line that edge right on the bottom of our fabric, and we are just gonna cut these triangles like this, and like this, and we're gonna cut these little edges right here on the bottom. And then you're just gonna go and you're gonna flip it over and flip it over and flip it over and flip it over and you're gonna cut those out. And you need, for these of these triangles, you're gonna need 16 of those. And then we just have to put some fabric right along the edge. You can put it on any edge you want because it's the same on all three sides. And so I'm just gonna take one of these triangles and I'm gonna lay it on here like this. Now, you wanna lay it out here like this first because it's going to be opened up and we want to make sure that we can cut all the way out. Follow that angle. We're going to do the same thing. Oops, left my rotary cutter open. <laughs> Closed it. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on this uh, triangle that we did on the full rhombus. So go ahead and lay it on there and then we're going to just lay this on here and sew a quarter of an inch down the side. Again, any side works. All right, so line this up and put my foot on there. Sew down a little bit and then just line it up. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna press this open and we're gonna trim these. And again, you're gonna need 16 of these. And you'll get a piece just like this. And this is for finishing your rows on the top and the bottom because you will start, each row you will start and end with one of these. So once you have your two blocks made, you're ready to put the rows together. Now the rows on this quilt are all put together diagonally. So it just takes a little bit of brain work. It's, a, it's for those of us who are angrily challenged, it's a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say difficult, it's just a little more brain work. You just have to pay attention a little more. So when you sew these long rows together, they're gonna to go together just like this. You're gonna put one, sew one right sides like this. You're gonna make sure that you have a quarter of an inch hanging over on either side. And you're gonna sew these down like this. And we're just gonna sew two of these together so I can show you how it works. And we're gonna line these up. Make sure these match up pretty good. All right, now we'll press this open. See how I did. Ooh, pretty good. All right, now let me show you how these fit in the quilt and how you're gonna use your triangle. So these are gonna go in here like this. So we're gonna sew them together in long rows this way. And this top one up here is gonna be like this. And see, if we just had these rows, they would come in like this. And you, so this is your finishing triangle right up here. So it's gonna go, you're gonna start one like this, and you're gonna start this right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this at the top. So this little triangle is the top of all of these rows as they come along here. So when you start so, to sew your row together, you're gonna start with this, and then you're gonna continue on. Now, when you get down here to the bottom, and you put that triangle on your bottom, pretend this is the very bottom of my quilt. Well, I'll put an orange one on here because I'd never put blue with blue. So uh, you're gonna go all the way down here. And what you have to remember is you're just gonna finish that line. So you're gonna do that. All right, now let's talk about these sides because our sides of our quilt out here, see how these go like this? You can see that this was the block that I started with on the side, but it comes way over. Well, we just trimmed these off. So we just trimmed these straight right here. And on this side over here, they're again doing the same thing, but you're gonna trim most of your color off. So you can do that. Now you can leave them whole and bind like this. <laughs> I chose not to. I just, you know, I just thought it would be easier to do it this way. So it's a quick little block. It's a great way to do it. It's a fun setting because it makes us think outside the box. And so remember, our rows are gonna to go together this way. And of course, it's just absolutely the most fabulous fabric ever. 
So this quilt makes a great size quilt. It is 71 by 76. It's a super easy block. I did say it takes some brain work, but you know what? We've got a diagram for you in the uh, pattern, so that makes it really easy for you. We're calling this the rhombus gemstone because we've added that nice frame to that one side. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.